Welcome to another cooking video with me. Today I'm going to be making cast iron steak, homemade mashed potatoes, and a creamy chicken mushroom deal. It's really good. But we're going to start with the steak. So first I am just seasoning the steaks with some salt and pepper. And that's about all the seasoning you will need for these. I then am just letting the cast iron get hot. You can use a normal cast iron for this as well. This is the enameled. It just looks super pretty, but you can use a normal cast iron for this recipe as well. But you're just going to let your cast iron heat up and just use a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil, like the tiniest bit possible. And then you're going to add your steaks to the pan and you're going to cook them two minutes on each side and then 30 seconds to one minute on each edge. You're then going to put two to four tablespoons of butter in the pan. I recommend putting them directly on the steak, but I forgot, so that's why I just threw them in. But you're gonna put the steaks in the oven. Start with two minutes on each side. That's what we did, and they were cooked about medium rare. Obviously, depending on how you like your steak, you're going to cook longer. But I would start with that and then just keep checking it to get it cooked to what you like. And then that's it for the steaks. For the mashed potatoes, you are just going to take the potatoes, drain them obviously, and then just mash them pretty roughly. And then you're going to add in your ingredients. So this is a pound and a half of potatoes. You're then going to add in a half teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of heavy cream, two tablespoons of butter, and one tablespoon of milk. And then salt and pepper to taste, garlic, salt if you want it, just kind of whatever you like. I also ended up adding in a spoon of sour cream, so just make it your own, but if you don't want to do anything else than just this, I think these were fantastic. And I have tried every homemade mashed potato recipe out there, and this is by far my favorite concoction. And that is it for the steak and mashed potatoes. So on to the creamy mushroom chicken. I am just starting with cooking the rice. I did jasmine rice. You're just going to do equal parts of rice to water or chicken broth, whatever you prefer, into the quick cooker. I like water with the jasmine rice, so that's what I used. And then you're just going to put it on custom setting high for five minutes. And that's it for the rice. If you haven't tried to cook rice in a quick cooker or Instapot, whatever you have, I highly recommend it. That's like the only way I cook my rice now. Onto the chicken, you are going to take your chicken breasts and cut them in half. You can pound them out if you need to. I thought that mine were thin enough with just cutting them in half, so that's what I went with. But it just depends on your thickness, and obviously the thicker the piece of chicken is, the longer it's going to take to cook. So it's kind of just whatever you want as far as thickness on that. So then I am taking... A half cup of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and just mixing that all up. And then that's what I'm going to coat my chicken with. So while I am coating the chicken, I started melting two tablespoons of butter along with one tablespoon of olive oil. Once my chicken was all coated, I just added it to the pan and just let it start cooking. I then started prepping my mushrooms. I used the quick slice to cut my mushrooms. This is by far my favorite tool to cut mushrooms. It just cuts them so perfectly and I think it's such a time saver and it's just so simple. So I am preparing one pack of mushrooms. Flip your chicken and cook your chicken according to how thin or thick they are. How long it takes to cook your chicken is honestly just going to depend on the thickness that you are cooking them at. 
to my rice. Once it finished, I let it naturally release for about 13 minutes, and then I took the lid off, and it was completely done. They were just so fluffy, they didn't stick, and they were fantastic. So once my chicken was done, I took it from the pan and I started melting two more tablespoons of butter. Once the butter was melted, I added in the mushrooms and I just spread the mushrooms out as evenly as I could and then I let them cook down without touching them. I don't know how long it took but just let it cook down until they're looking like this. Once the mushrooms were cooked down, I added in one garlic clove and let that cook for about 30 seconds. And then I added in a half cup of cooking wine, a half cup of heavy cream, a one and a half cups of chicken broth, and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I will say I don't think the cooking wine was necessary and I don't think it really did anything for this recipe. It kind of gave it a weird taste so I think next time I'm going to try it without the wine. But then I also added in two teaspoons of cornstarch and I dissolved that in two tablespoons of water before I added it. And then I'm just putting my chicken back in the pan and I let that cook for about five minutes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try these recipes out and enjoy them as much as I did. Thanks for watching.